Now what's that? Hell. Yo. And we'll show you how not to mail a package. And gee, anyone? We'll visit the bottom of a bubblegum mine. Okay, okay. Yo, oh, 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 oh. oh, and we'll search for America's wildest ride. Yes, there it is. Oh, and a little uh, spaceship. Ah, great. It's out of control. And now here he is, the all-American boy, the guy who should be Mr. America, the U.S. mail. Leave that mail alone. You can't mess with the U.S. mail. It's a federal offense. You'll go to jail for 50 years. Well, no, open the curtain. It's Dave Coulier. Well, of course. Well, why didn't you say so? Well, I, I was going to, uh, uh, the announcer was going to, and, uh, well, uh, never mind. You're a male person, right? Yes and no. I'm a female male person. Oh, you're a female, female letter, letter carrier. carrier. <laughs> yep, that's me, Lydia the Lady Letter Lugger. Not snow, nor rain, nor hail, nor mustard, nor a great big 16 ton. No, don't say it! Sorry that had to happen, Dave. Well, while I sort out this mail and mustard situation, why don't you take a look at this Let's Eat segment? One out of control is bestial. Hi, we're here at the Mastrego restaurant, which in Italian means the witch. Probably stems from people saying all the time, well, which restaurant do we want to eat at? <laughs> we're here with our master chef, Carlos. Hi, Carlos. Hi. Nice to see you. Why don't you show us how you make one of these pizzas? We want to see that. Go for it. Okay, first, first you got the dough. So you put it in the flour. In the flour. Okay. Now this is called kneading the dough. There you go. Then you give it a few tosses. Oh! Looks like a spaceship kind of there. Kind of floating up and down. This is the tomato sauce. You want to make sure you get the tomato sauce on there. Okay. Starting to look pretty good, isn't it? Mushrooms. I'm trying to put the mushrooms on there. Are you getting hungry yet? I am. Mmm. These are the onions. My eyes start to water because of those onions. But I'm going to eat them. That's the great thing about eating onions. Okay, these are the green peppers. Green peppers. Okay, now we take it and we pop it in the oven. Carlos is putting it in the oven there. Okay, now I'm going to make one. Okay, we got some dough, okay. Here's some dough. <laughs> dough, 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 dough. Dough, dough, reach. Okay, here we go, we got the dough. Okay, it's got a little bit of flour on it. I'm gonna take it, put it into the flour. Now, we're taking it, kind of, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stretch your pizza bread, each top it up, we're making some dough, okay. I want a Okay, now you have to start throwing the pizza dough. Uh, do we have any more dough? more dough. Got a buck? <laughs> okay, well, the best thing you should do in this situation is you take your head off. Look at that. Insta-dough, okay? Now you take it first off. You take the tomato sauce. You got it? Okay, great. Oh, I'm going to spread it around. Yeah. Hats off to this pizza. <laughs> you want cheese? It's raining cheese. It's raining cheese. It's raining, raining cheese. Ever been to a mushroom? People just sit around and kiss. <laughs> Okay, we're taking one of these. This is brick o meat. Okay, take that. Some onions. Onions. You want onions? Green peppers. And these, of course, little pepper. I, 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 I'm making pizza. Okay, you, you thought those are like little spaceships. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Attack the pizza, attack the pizza. We're from Pluto. Now we're going to take it, we're going to pop it in the oven and see what comes out. Ready? All right, now we're cooking. Didn't this pizza turn out to be a work of art?
Carlos, I'd like to present to you this out of control Let's Eat Award for having the world's best pizza. And you gotta let me, you gotta let me pay you for lunch because I know you need the dough. Okay, now let's eat. Let's go. They said I'd get a lot of dough for this job, but this is stupid. Wow. There's been so much mail for out of control, I've got to come twice a day. See? That's only part of it. Shall I tell everybody they got mail? Uh, no, just, uh, don't put it. Hey, all right. Hey, hold on. Wait a minute. We can't open all our mail now. We'll never get the show finished in time. Dave's right. We need order around here. We should get our mail one at a time so the show can keep going. Like, say, uh, oh, just off the top of my head in uh, alphabetical order. Let's see, how would that go? We'd start with A, so... Angela! No, 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 no. no. Perfect. Now, look, everybody, I, I think alphabetical order was a good idea, but I think we should start backwards with Z and then work our way towards A. Okay, so, uh, Waldo, you'd be Ooh. first. Oh, well, fill up the old Waldo Postal Transport Unit. I don't think you got any, Waldo. Maybe some got mixed up with the others. Oh. If I find any, I'll give it to you. Yeah, sure. Okay. Sure. Diz? All right! Hey, great. Everything six, matches, six Diz. There's another one. Hey, great. Oh, one more. Let's see. There you go. A turn, huh? butter, Whoa. and two boxes. Great. Whoa. Thank you. A lot of mail there. And huh? Oh, good. Oh, I love all my magazines and family and games. Oh, oh, great. Well, all right. I guess the rest is for you, Dave. Oh, okay. All right, everybody. Uh, back to work. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, well, I, I used to get a lot of cards and letters from the from the Inventors Club until I saw the, the, the plans for my Waldo Super Popcorn Popper. You know, it would pop 500 pounds of popcorn in three seconds. Yeah, well, what's the matter with it? Didn't it work? Oh, yeah, it worked great. I forgot to send him the plans for the lid, though. Um, here's a picture of the club president. Whoa. Ooh. Um, ooh. Uh, this is definitely out of control. You know, Paul, though, getting mail isn't such a big deal. I mean, you, you get bills. These are duck bills. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, you know, you get hat bills. <laughs> uh, I'm a quack-up. Duck. <laughs> Yeah, I like this. And then and then you get out these uh, chain letters that people write. Uh, it's not such a big thing getting mail, you know? I mean, Ha doesn't get any fan mail. Yes, I do. We computers get electronic mail through the phone. Oop, I got some coming in now. Ooh, it's from my pal, the Yuck Yuck 3200. Excuse me while I read my mail. So let me tell you. I just got all my circuits washed. They're all out online. So then the operator says, I'm sorry, all your circuits are busy. Even Ha Ha's getting mail. Dave, did Waldo get any mail yet? Ah, poor guy, not yet. We can't let all this mail stuff slow the show down, though. Yeah, but that's where I had to tell Waldo to make sure that he watches the special feature that's coming up right next on how to mail something. Is you're trying to get me to play post office? Uh, uh. Handle with care, Dave. <laughs> how to do things? So you want to mail Grandma her birthday present? It's easy if you follow these simple steps. First, you must get the right size box. Make sure it's big enough, but not too big. A box too large will cost you extra postage. Not to mention getting it into the mailbox. Remember, your package may get banged around in the mail, so you should wrap it well and put it in packing material. Shake your package gently. It should be able to absorb all shocks which could damage the content. After all, Grandma deserves receiving her gift in one piece.
Choose the right packing material. Brown paper or styrofoam will do, or anything that is soft enough to cushion it from shots. Now it's time to tape it away and wrap. I mean, wrap it. Silly wabbit. There are many kinds of tape. Masking tape, mystic tape, mending tape, measuring tape, tape green tape, yellow tape, tape, and string. However, don't use any of these. Use strapping tape, which is virtually unbreakable and will hold anything permanently. Postage is determined by weight. Zero to four ounces is 20 cents, unless, of course, the packages are eight inches in length, four inches in width, and three inches in depth, or any combination of the above with a maximum volume exceeding 96 cubic inches. In that case, the sum of all sizes squared, divided by Planck's constant, and factored by three, which then becomes inversely proportional to the mass of the mail package, and postage is determined by the flip of a coin by two neutral parties. What a wonderful feeling to send a package off on its way to Grandma. Of course, be sure you've written the address clearly on the front of the box. They're wonderful. Everybody thinks I'm great. They send me stuff and they love me too. God, and, uh, even you get mail, Hearn. Look at this pile, Waldo. What a heap of adulation for my adoring public, huh? Well, it, 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 it looks like two boxes and a and a letter from your mom. Well, it's still fan mail. Dear son, remember the five bucks you borrowed to? Well, that's junk mail. <laughs> What about these goodies, huh? Gifts for my adoring public. This one's from, from Harry Sorehead. You remember him? You did that story on him? You called him the stupidest man you've ever seen? Oh, uh, ah. Yeah. Oh, 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 I can use that. It remind me to send him a thank you note, Waldo. Okay. Oh, there's just one more for the Ketchum Bill Collection Agency. Oh, uh, hey, Waldo, I've got to go do a story on amusement parks. You can open this one for me. Oh, God. <laughs> Thanks, Hearn. Gosh. Ooh, there's a note inside. Burford, you are two years behind in your payments. To avoid further criminal prosecution, please make payments. I'm not Hearn Burford. No, he's not. He went to amusement parks. He's doing a story. I'm not Hearn Burford. No, I'm not. Help! Hi, I'm Hearn Burford, and I really dig thrill rides. The Colossus. The Beast. The Texas Cyclone. This is the whammo blammo tank of doom. Some people believe this to be the most frightening ride in the universe. But not me, not Hearn Burford. Compared to some of the things I've been on, this is a piece of cake. <laughs> Since 1957, thousands of people have thrilled to the excitement of the behemoth. Yeah, this ride's really exciting. Well, now it's Hearn Burford's chance to meet that exciting challenge. Here we go. Let's see, got a quarter here somewhere. Ah, okay. All right, I'm ready. Wow! Wow! The helicopter of death! This is too much! Look out below! Wow! I don't know if I'm going to be able to hold on here! Oh, no! It's getting too scary even for me! Oh, boy. That last ride was too much. I'm a basket case. This is Hearn Burford for Out of Control. Once around the park. Oh, but those rides are nothing compared to the tilt the <laughs> Oh, Or have your curiosity peak on the Alpine Up Chuck. Take a Sunday spin on the Roto Vomit. Or blow your lunch on the great American heave machine. <laughs> yeah. This I gotta see. Whoa. Ha, ha, ha. 
How come you get so much mail? Well, being a professional, I subscribe to lots of publications, like the Newswriter's Newsletter and, and the Journalist Journal and TV Snide. And What's that? That? Oh, it's a bubblegum card. They're great for secret messages because you can read it and then you can eat it. Mmm. Mm. But you don't want to bite off more than you can chew. I got this one from some friends that I met doing a story on bubblegum mining. And believe me, it's probably true. From around the world, it's probably true. Hello! I'm reporting to you today from deep within the heart of this country, and boy, oh boy, do I mean deep. We're in a bubblegum mine far below the town of Zook, Missouri. It's here that they mine all that delicious Zook bubblegum that you and I love so much. It's really fabulous, isn't it? Standing over here is one of the miners. His name is Joe Blow. So tell me, how's it going, Joe? Well, Angela. Call me Scoop. Scoop? You mean like it? <laughs> I guess all these years uh, uh, underground, you haven't lost your sense of humor, huh, Joe? Nah, I haven't. But you know, it's dangerous work all the same, Angela. Somebody's got to do it. I spent nearly my whole life underground, breathing them dangerous bubblegum fumes and digging for veins of that pure pink stretch of substance that's brought joy to so many lives. Uh, you like some? Right. Oh, sure, I'd love some. Uh, Here we go. Mm. Oh, wow, this is really good. This is really good. So, is this the only kind of bubblegum mine there is? Why, in my 50 years, I've seen all varieties of bubblegum mines. I got Turok Spirit, Turok Gumball, or you name it. Oh, look out there, Angie. Get off the track. Get off the tracks there. That's dangerous. Now, here's a load of raw ore coming through. Now, it's going to be purified and refined and transformed into this. Remember you saying this mine was dangerous? Yeah, that's right, Angela. <laughs> like disaster can strike when you least expect it. You don't mean that's right. A uh, gum in. Why we had us here a gum slide knife on six months ago. <gasps> don't we? Why we had six men trapped inside the mine. Three of them in the same bubble. Now that was a sticky speciation. Oh. Be careful, Angela. We gotta be careful. Careful. Uh, dip off that bubble, and a million ton of chewing gum will come avalanching down upon our heads. Oh, oh. Run for it. It's gonna blow! Yeah. Oh, well, I guess I really gummed up this story. <laughs> this is Angela Scoop quickly. We're out of control. <laughs> Maybe I can chew my way out of here. Ow. Ow. Isn't that educational? Our next segment on the show is the exciting. Oh. Waldo? Huh? Uh, Waldo, the, the boom mic is on my desk and it, it should be up in the air. Oh. I guess I better fix it. Aw, oh, come on. Cheer down, Waldo. Show a little less enthusiasm. <laughs> Just don't think I can, Dave. Not getting any mails really got me down. I'm just not in touch with the world. It's like nobody cares. Aw, oh, Waldo. Hey, come on, we care about you. I'll tell you what. Why don't you take one of my letters? Really? Sure. And whatever one you pick, it's yours. It's for you. Oh. Come on. Gee. <laughs> I hope it's not a bill. <laughs> oh, look. I, I won something. Hey, great, Waldo. What is it? It's, uh, it's an Irish brew for cleaning meat. Hey. I don't think I'll ever use it, but it's really nice to win something. <laughs> it really hey. is. An Irish brew for uh -huh. sweeping meat? <laughs> Waldo, you've won the Irish sweepstakes. That's a check for five million dollars. Wow! Five million dollars, and I, I just gave it to Waldo. <laughs> I just passed it right along. <laughs> I should watch this adult education segment. Maybe I'll learn something. 
adult education, where kids are the teachers and adults are there to learn. Class, today we're going to be talking about something very interesting. Hey, no talking! But I had to tell her something important. Then you should have passed her a note. Oh, thank you, teacher. I'll do it now. No, you can't let me see you do it. Then how should she do it? There's lots of ways to pass a note. I know how to pass a note. No, let me demonstrate. First, there's a scratch the head pass. Test segment yet. You know, the, the pass along story. Oh, you mean like telephone? Yeah. <gasps> Whoa! 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 I love doing out of control. And would any of you let a measly five million dollars stand between you and this show? No. no. It, am I in time for the uh, pass along story? Yeah. See, the idea of this game is someone starts with a sentence. Ooh, ooh. I have a good sentence. Okay, Waldo, why don't you start? Okay. I gave away all the money? That's right! Boy, that sentence was great! Hold on, you did No! I donated it to the Inventors Club. Now they won't be mad at me anymore, and I bet I get lots and lots of mail. Letters from Waldo! I bet they're from every inventor in the world! Are those all mine? This is just the first loan! Well, give it to me! You really want it? Let me have it! Okay! Cause not snow... Nor rain, nor hail, nor mail can stop the U.S. mail. <gasps> oh, sorry that had to happen, Waldo. It's okay. I feel great. <laughs> now, come on. Everybody help me open up all of this mail. Oh, yes. Well. That's our show for today. Join us for our next show when we show you how to heat your home with used envelopes. Then we're going to travel to Detroit, Michigan for some pre-licked stamps. See you next time. Hi, this is Jay Furby from The Wonder Years. The biggest kid event of the year is almost here. It's Nickelodeon.